So, good morning. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Santos Capellan Jr. Wishing you a good day. Now, today, what I'm going to show you is how you are going to uh, terminate and pull cable for a valve actuator. Okay? Now, actually, this is a valve actuator for, uh, by Siemens. Okay? Now, uh, this is model Aquatix SQ s65 okay now this knob is the one that will show you what is the current uh, opening of the uh, valve actuator as you can see here zero up to ten okay so meaning uh, this valve actuator can open the valve zero to 100 percent opening so the control for this valve actuator i mean the control is uh, modulating okay so when you say modulating modulating uh, the control signal for this valve actuator is coming from your ddc analog output that can provide 0 to 10 volts dc that will be fed to this valve actuator okay so you will see if this valve actuator is working you will see the current opening by just looking at this uh, nab okay so right now it is in closed position okay so what are the terminals for this valve actuator okay now as you can see here uh, as a bms engineer you will always uh, pay attention to the details okay so why is 0 to 10 volts that meaning that is the uh, that is the control signal that your DDC will give to this uh, valve actuator, okay? So, power supply is 24 volts AC, okay? Now, this is IP54, so meaning you cannot install this outside. So, you have to install it inside, a, yeah? uh, let's say, in a mechanical room. But outside uh, installation, you cannot install this one because this is not IP65 or IP67, Ingress protection for this one is IP54. Okay. Now, uh, that what are the terminals? So I have here uh, U, M, R, Y, G, G0. Okay. Now U and M, you can use this for uh, valve actuator feedback opening status. Okay. So it will give also 0 to 10 volts to your DDC IO module. So you can receive, your DDC will receive this uh, feedback signal 0 to 10 volts, okay? So meaning 0 is closed, then 10 volts is 100% open. So this is the feedback status from the valve actuator. Now we have also here uh, R and Y, okay? Now here you are going to use this Y for the control signal to the valve from your DDC. So 0 to 10 volts. Likewise, you will be giving 0 to 10 volts to this valve actuator. Okay. G and GO is the power supply. Okay. So G is the 24 volts AC line. Then GO is your uh, common. Okay. Or 0 volts. Okay. So let us see what is inside of this uh, valve actuator. Now, actually, how are you going to put it on the valve? itself now you can see this is the this is threaded so this will be the one to uh, be attached to your valve in the site okay now uh, your question is how are you going to select the valve actuator for a certain valve now as a bms engineer uh, you will help the solution provider to select the proper valve actuator as per the valve delivered in the site actually uh, the valve will be ordered by the mechanical engineer then the valve actuator will be uh, selected by the BMS engineer but it is good uh, practice that the BMS solution provider will be the one to select the valve and the valve actuator so this is the scope of BMS supplier now how are you going to select the valve the mechanical engineer of the project will give you the details of the air handling units uh, coil 
the capacity of AHU and the cooling coil capacity so that you can select properly the valve okay so this is the valve adapter this is threaded okay now as you can see here this is the one that pushes the valve stem to open and close okay so when it is uh, opening then this uh, one will push the valve stem to open also okay so let me see what are the inside this is already open okay let me open this so we can see what is the what are the things inside this valve actuator as you can see here okay so this is the motor then this are the terminals so as a bms engineer you will try to pull uh, at least uh, three cable one one two three okay so this is how are you going to terminate this is for the feedback status u and m okay then y is the control signal then it is sharing the 24 volts okay so g and go this is the 24 volts uh, live and this is the common okay so as a bms engineer you should always pay attention to the details okay then there are some switches here which I think you don't need to uh, change because this is factory default. Okay. Now, if this uh, valve actuator can receive 0 to 20 milliamps, then you have to change the dip switch setting here or the switch setting here. But this one is already set to 0 to 10 volts control signal and 0 to 10 volts feedback signal. Okay. So these are the components inside. I don't think you need to do some configuration. All you need to do is follow the wiring instruction. Okay. Now, 24 volts will be coming from your control transformer. Then the signal will be coming from your DDC analog output signal or analog output control based on your uh, control logic program then the feedback will go to the one of the analog inputs of your io module so this is how are you going to pull cable so make sure you will pull bms cable uh, the correct quantity okay because uh, if you forget one cable it is a big uh, headache because how are you going to pull another cable when you are already to do the testing and commissioning okay so now we are using actually we are using this uh, bms cable this is a belden cable so this uh, uh, the, the cable that you will pull make sure it is the one approved by the consultant okay so again guys this is the simple valve actuator wiring and terminal connections okay and the details of the terminals Okay, so once again, thank you very much for watching this short video clip and I do hope you have an idea how are you going to work on a valve actuator in the near future if you will become a BMS engineer. So again, Santos Capilan Jr. wishing you a good day, saying God bless us all and bye for now.